Yeah, thank you for the introduction, Chris. You're too kind. And hello, everyone. I've enjoyed past Finnovate events tremendously, and it's a real pleasure to be on stage this time. So let me start by giving you a brief background on Manika. So we're a European-focused provider of uh, white-label PFM solutions to retail banks, and we're based out of, of Iceland, yes, and also from Sweden. Now, we launched our PFM product in 2009 in Iceland in partnership with a local retail bank, and we now have over 6% of Icelandic households using the product. Nine out of 10 of our users uh, say they'd recommend it, and almost half say they've improved their financial behavior because of it, something we're uh, really proud of. Now, we've been growing fast lately and uh, working on several PFM projects in Scandinavia and elsewhere in Europe. But to the demo. So while Einar is uh, logging in, I can tell you that our product includes everything you'd expect in a full-fledged uh, PFM solution. Account aggregation, advanced budgeting, mobile clients for iPhone and Android, uh, admin interface for the banks, and lots more. What sets us apart, however, important given all the presentation here today, is our emphasis on achieving true mass appeal. Now, part of that was to get the basics right, so I want to start by just briefly showing you some of the highlights of our existing product. Now, the application is designed for integration with online banks, but what you're looking at here is uh, uh, the standalone website version of it. So first, notice the clean and uncluttered look of the front page. In the middle, we remind people of, um, of the fundamental rule of personal finance, spend less than you earn. So, uh, and it looks like Einar has been doing okay in that regard. Now, automatic categorization is at the heart of PFM, so we built a sophisticated system that achieves extremely high accuracy, and on the transaction page, Einar can uh, view all his transactions from all his credit cards and bank accounts and modify the categories or define new ones or filter or search them in various ways. Like any PFM, we also offer um, um, visualization of spending through uh, dozens of reports, some of which users can subscribe to via email. We do have a unique and simple uh, approach to budgeting, and many of our users particularly like this part of the product. So the budget is presented as a simple table where a uh, user's historical spending is presented in the blue columns on the left. So if Einar clicks, for example, fast food in December, he sees the underlying transactions. The future budget, however, is in the green columns to the right, and originally we create um, an automatic projection based on Einar's uh, transaction history. And this is great to get him started, but then he can modify his budget based on his own spending goals or his expectations for the future, such as uh, uh, pay rise in March or an expensive vacation in June. So that way users can really easily get a kind of complete picture of how their uh, next month's uh, outlook uh, looks like and um, if they're spending within means or not. Now, I mentioned that uh, achieving, taking the mass appeal of PMM to the next level is a key focus for Minika. So I want to switch gears now, and I'm really excited to show for the first time some new features we'll be releasing soon. Now, we've employed social curiosity, humor, and game theory to further engage our users in a new section we call Insights. So on the front page, Einar can see how his total spending and income compares with that of other uh, users. But let's examine something more specific, such as grocery spending. First, we find the most relevant comparison group. And for grocery spending, household size is key. So the chart you're looking at reveals how Einar's grocery spending compares with others, other families of, of, of four. But he can choose a different comparison group if he's, if he's curious. Next, we tell Einar what his most frequented stores are and where he spends most of his money. And last but not least, we've analyzed his spending and uh, ranked him as a silly shopper because he's been spending a lot in expensive grocery stores. Now, this is based on public price surveys of common food baskets. Uh, but most importantly, we have a tool to help Einar estimate his savings by shopping in lower priced stores. So Einar can see the potential effect of dropping the share of weight rows, a relatively high-end store, and it looks like he can save around 50 pounds per month by dropping the share from 50 to 20%. Now, this is not exact science, but it will help many people make smarter choices, and we have similar specialized tools for many other spending categories. Now, and we really feel this is the next frontier for PFM, not just showing people what they've been spending on, but how to spend their money more wisely. Another example, real quick, is uh, rent. 
So now ANR is comparing to other renters with an apartment in the same location with the same number of bedrooms. And um, we also tell him that he's spending a third of his income on rent, which is a little on the high end given ex expert recommendations. We also help him understand kind of what size apartment he can afford in other locations. But finally, I want to share with you a simple example of how we're using games for motivation. So once a month, we challenge our users to answer a short quiz about their own spending habits. This month's quiz is about the cost of running a car, which people tend to significantly underestimate. So Einar has to answer five simple questions about his own car-related spending. How much did he spend on fuel in the past 12 months? How much on uh, repair and services? And so on. So after Einar takes the test, he's presented with a score and a rank. And it looks like he only got one out of five right and has been ranked financially challenged. Einar can now challenge his spouse or his friends to take the same test or share his results on Facebook. So let's uh, do that real quick. Post a message to his friends. And there. See, now his friends can make some fun of him. Now, the monthly quiz is a simple feature, but one that will get more people to think about the spending and, most importantly, makes it more fun. And those of you who read the New York Times might have noticed an article a few weeks ago with new research saying that testing like this is one of the best ways to get people to remember things. So now I think my, my time's almost up, so that's all from Manika today. But to summarize, um, most existing PFM have a loyal gathering, but few, if any, can claim uh, true mass appeal. But if you're looking for a state-of-the-art PFM solution that's proven in Europe and your online users will actually use, then we'd love to have a conversation with you afterwards. There's a lot we didn't cover, such as how to take this engagement and turn it into business benefits. Thank you.